Hey guys, Blackjack Spreadsall here. Welcome back to your regular program, non-holiday themed speed build. <laughs> um, Alright, so this build was made on a 15 by 20 lot, and I do not remember how much it ended up being. I, I want to say around 80,000 simoleons, but I am probably way off. Um, I have this issue where I, I check the price, but I forget to write it down, and I, I built this, I finished building this like four days ago, so I, I do not remember the price at all, and I'm sorry about that, but if you click the link to um, to where you can download it, you'll obviously see the, the price minus fault value, so, you know, not that hard to find out, um, but I am sorry. Uh, Alright, so, for this place I was the roofing I didn't have a huge problem with it was just a little angled extension on the front I really wish that in the Sims 4 they brought back um, octagonal roofs because oh that would help so much I mean like during the screenshots I end up getting it at a very awkward angle on the front just because any other angle showed the awkwardness of the roof a lot more. Like I think I actually cut out the top roof in the screenshot. And anyways, I just it was bothering me to no end. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think it stays more or less like this through the entire build. Um, yeah. Okay. So for this build, I wanted a more. I don't know if traditional is the right word, but that's the one I'm gonna use because it's the only one that's coming to mind. A more traditional style build um, with clean cut flower beds. So that section I just sectioned off in um, low fencing. I'm gonna have plants in. I have some more plants coming in around the stairs, which you'll see. Um, yeah, that, that was another thing. Like, I just the angles. I didn't know how I wanted the path to flow. I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. So I was like, you know what? Just add more flowers. Cover it up with more flowers. No one will know. <laughs> Except for now you do, because I told you. Whoops. Damn it, I... I gave myself up. <laughs> Alright, so... I was working with the stairs there. I was like, okay, I know there's a way to overlap stairs. How do I do it again? And then I did. It's like, sweet. Just, when you don't overlap stairs, it just take on a relatively small lot, which is... I mean, no, sorry, not small lot. It's a relatively small build. Um, so when you don't overlap stairs, you just you lose so much, so much space. So, anyways, working with the floor plan here, it does change just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, all floors change just a little bit, not too much, just so that the whole thing is a little less awkward, has a nicer, more even flow to it. Um, so I end up with the windows that I started with at the front there, but I there was nothing that really spoke to me, I guess. it's I didn't want to have curved windows on each level. I found it didn't look as good as having square windows and then one arched top window all the way at the top. Um, but everything else, all the square ones, well, rectangular ones, were too wide, and it also did flow, and then I thought about separating it as you saw with those beams but it just it, they weren't going everywhere I tried I tried it they weren't they weren't stepping to place so I gave up on that I tried to separate with plants which looked okay from this angle but once you panned it to the left it looked ridiculous and it just it was awkward I would have had to found find a way to separate it um height wise from the red right, from the complete left side but Anyways, I think I think I I do like how it ends up looking from the outside, minus all those roof issues. But yeah, so I'm just fiddling around with windows. I didn't have a hard time with the windows as much as I normally do, um, but I do fiddle with fidget with them a little later. Why do I keep saying fiddle instead of fidget? Th those words do not mean the same thing. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, um. Back to this build. Um, okay, I have nothing to say about this build for right this second, but I did want to mention something, 
in I believe it was my first video I was talking about what uh, what I'd be posting and how often so I think I've I'm fairly happy with the three posts per week that I tried last week so I'd be posting Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, though I will only be posting speed builds I did mention in my first video that I would um, that I might do some let's plays and I did try, I, you know, I built a family, I moved into a lot, I recorded it, and then I was watching it back, and, oh, it was painfully boring. Like, I mean, personally for me, the appeal of the Let's Plays is more the YouTuber's commentary, more than the actual Sims themselves, and I, I personally, I did not think that I had, that I had found a way to make it entertaining or funny anyway. Um, I mean, let's put it in, let's put it in these terms. If any of you guys watch Community, you'll understand this moment. Uh, it happened, just, I believe, during the episode where, um, everyone's helping Annie move in with Troy and Abed. It's either that episode or one of the, one or two before that. Britta makes a joke. And Annie said something along the lines of, Britta, don't make jokes. You're not good at it. I am Britta in that instance. I cannot be funny. I cannot make jokes on the spot. I would need someone to banter with if I were to do a let's play. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, enough about that. Um, working in the living room, it's a lot smaller than I'm used to working with, but I think in the end I made it work. Um, now this, that TV probably doesn't really fit that style of room with the couches and the type of tables, but that's it's the TV I wanted to go with, and if I had a, um, t a stand TV as opposed to a wall TV, it would have really messed with the space. Um, I wouldn't have had a nice of a flow in the end. Like, you'd enter the living room, and then, bam, you'd be squished between a TV stand and a couch. So, that, you know, wall TV it had to be. Um, besides, who's, who said people with traditional style can't enjoy... Flat, beautiful, big, flat-screen TVs, right? <laughs> Alright, so, to the kitchen. This is, I don't know if it's the first kitchen, no, it's definitely not the first kitchen I've done without floor tiles, but it is a bit of a struggle for me to not add floor tiles to a kitchen. I, I love the way it looks when there's just tiles under the kitchen. Um, I don't know what it is. It's. I think it's partially that it's a room separator, and also that if you're cooking things that have a lot of splash to them, um, and it goes on the floor or the, sorry, um, on the floors or on the walls, it's just so much easier to clean up off of tile. Like right now, my uh, kitchen I have right now, the floor is tiled and most of the wall is tiled. There's parts of it that have um, that are painted and not tiled over and when I'm cleaning the kitchen, you know, the tile that wipes up super quickly, I spent a lot of time scrubbing the painted part of the wall and it's still, it still doesn't get clean. There's just, I don't know what kind of stains on there, but it might not even be before my time. Like, I don't, I think those stains might have been there when I moved in. Anyways, um, so there I just, I tile the walls of the kitchen, I leave the rest painted. I didn't, I didn't want the entire thing to be tiled. Tile in the dining room, I find that a little weird. Maybe not on the floor so much, but on the walls. Tiled dining room walls seems a little odd to me. Anyways, moving on. Uh, that's me fidgeting with the windows uh, once more. And I, th I might fidget with them again once more, but if I do, it's just um, a height thing. Like They might not all be at the same height level, or I wanted them higher, or... Um, here we go. I'm adding a little bit, dec a little bit of decoration. Um, okay, I didn't, I didn't actually mention this, and I meant to. I had it like written down as a note, and I just completely ignored it. On my last build, Lovers Escape, the Valentine's Day themed one, um, the the whole place was a little sp like sparsely decorated. There wasn't that much decoration other than the um, landscaping on the inside. And if anyone was wondering, the reason why I didn't put as much decoration in there is because the idea behind that build is it's a vacation spot. So, 
you know, vacation spots usually aren't overly decorated because there's a lot of different people that go to visit, a lot of people with different styles, so, you know, you have to have it not necessarily neutral and plain, but can't be over decorated, over lived in or anything, you know, you want to feel like you're in a vacation, it's like you just moved into a new place, you're half broke, you know, you're buying a little bit more than necessities, I suppose. Um, okay, anyways. Um, okay, so I mostly, I pretty much just finished that first floor. I had a mirror in that thin hallway just to make that whole hallway seem a little wider, and that actually messed me up while I was taking screenshots. I was, you know, I was, um, moving through the house, and then I see a door being reflected in the mirror, and I turn around, and I'm like, you know, I go through the door, essentially, through the wall, and I end up back in that sitting room, and I'm like, wait, I already took screenshots of that. Right, I put a mirror in that hallway. That's not a door. The door is on the other side. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I tricked myself. It worked. It means it works. You know, it just makes it appear wider, like there's a little bit more than that claustrophobic, tiny-ass space to your hallway. Um, yeah, alright, so here's the master bedroom. Um, so my vision for who lives in this house, it would be either, you know, parents and two teenagers or parents, a teenager, and a child. I didn't have any toddlers or newborns in mind because... I mean, if you have a toddler and newborn, you want, the parents want their bedroom to be on the same floor, easy access to them, so you can, you know, go get them when they cry or whatever. Um, so, for this specific um, layout to make sense, you'd have to have older kids living in the house. Kids that could take care of themselves who don't go jump into mommy and daddy's bed, you know, crying that they had a nightmare. <clears throat> Anyways, um... Do add a little bit of decoration here and there, some lights, and I'm done with this floor. There wasn't much to it, you know, it's a bedroom and bathroom. That's at the end. Um, yeah. This would, honestly, I love in, it's not really an attic room, but it's the closest thing I've come to building one in my speed builds. Um, I love putting libraries in attic builds. I, I love how it looks because it's, you know, it's a lot darker and... Yes, you need light to read, so obviously you add a bunch of floor lamps, but it just adds sort of like an old feeling to the whole like look of the library, which especially if you have like old books, you know, bound in leather type of thing, been around for centuries, it's just, it, it just adds something that I find pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I added a room there, as you saw, I just, I didn't want it to be an open space. I did not turn into turn it into a bedroom, though obviously you could if you wanted to. This this house does remain a three bedroom. Um, you'll see what I turn it into. He's just working on the main bathroom now. Um, not much to it. I did try to, once again, change tiles up and colors up and not do the same thing over and over again in all of my bathrooms. Um, because, I mean, that's just boring. No one wants to see the same bathroom in every single house. So, anyways. Um, so, yeah, I keep it pretty simple. Mirror, toilet paper, bath. <laughs> Alright, first person's bathroom. Um, I think I envisioned this one to be a kid's bedroom. And the second bedroom I work on to be a teenager's bedroom. Anyways. Um, so, you know, in my vision, it was a girl who has who has this, um, bedroom. She's girly, she likes pink, she likes flowers, purple, blue, you know, those, I don't know, colors you would stereotypically associate with females. So stereotypically blue is not one of those colors, though baby blue is. So, you know, it's a stereo I stereotyped. Forgive me, but I stereotyped. You know, I have a bear with a heart, like, uh, it's, just, it's cute, you know? It's, I, stereotypically, ideally cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I do change the colors around a little bit. The bed, the mirror, I, it was too much pink for me. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of pink, so I had to change it up a little. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that sticker in the mirror. I was like, oh god, I never noticed that before. Please tell me it does not stay there. Okay. 
crisis averted. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so in my head, this is a guy's bedroom, teenager. Though I didn't really stereotype this room too much to be a guy's. So, you know, works perfectly well for a girl, too. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you have your computer, you have a little TV, bookshelf, mirror, what else do you need? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, he's a little bit of a computer nerd. He has his, sorry, a tech nerd more than a computer nerd. He has your TV, computer, a tablet, um, video game banner. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's the kid that likes being around technology. Probably more than people. He's me. He likes technology more than people. I don't dislike people. I'm just not all that social. I'm very awkward with people that I've just met. So, no, oh, yeah, let's put let's put a shower in the art room. That's perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Enough about me. Back to this room. So I ended up making it a painter art room, whatever you know. Turn it into whatever you want. Turn it into a tiny little gym. Turn it into a music studio. Turn it into a bedroom. You know, whatever. I felt like it should be an art room, so that's what I did. Um, so the paint that I use, there's you can't really see it very well when I'm painting it, but it has sort of like, I think there's square colored dots all over, um, all over a white background, and not that it looks like it, but I picked that one because it was the closest thing that reminded me to paint splatter, you know? You don't have to be careful when you're doing art, you can end up in the wall, that's why you have a designated art room, right? <laughs> or at least in my head it is. Um, okay, so we're going to start working on the back very soon and then get into the screenshots. Um, yeah, alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, for this build, it was on, you know, there's not much lot left. I didn't put a pool in, which, honestly, it's, it's hard for me not to put a pool in. Like, if I buy a house, my number one want is a pool in the yard. I love to swim. I can't imagine having a house that doesn't have a pool. So building some without pools is a bit of a struggle for me. No matter how small the pool has to be, I'm like, there has to be a pool here. I want there to be a pool. And I didn't do that for this lot. Um, and I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> Comes with a little more, I guess, traditional, you know, you have a picnic table, a coal, uh, a coal barbecue, you know, a little bench, monkey bars. I really wish that I had monkey bars in my backyard growing up. Apparently, I was this kid who always, like, we had fences everywhere, and I, every time my parents would turn around before I was even able to walk, I would crawl there and start climbing everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, here are the screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button so you'll know when I post more videos. Um, links to my Facebook and where to download these houses are in the description bar below. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Now enjoy the couple of seconds of awkward silence. <laughs> Bye, guys.